Okay, so we just got home last night from camp, and if you guys remember, Marilla, the mom goat, um, was not looking very good before we left. Thankfully, Finn had noticed that. So we, the morning before we left, we actually got warmer, warmed her. We were hoping for some improvement by the time we got back, but she actually looks worse. Um, so I ran to Tractor Supply first thing this morning. The vet can't get her in, but um, the kind of good thing, while I'm in line, there were several other men behind me and they said, how are your goats? And I said, not good, I feel like I might lose one. And they said, we have the same situation, it's everywhere. They said, we have sheep and they're dropping like flies. And they're like, do you have any ideas? So we all compared ideas. Thankfully, we got a really neat uh, worker that had just been to a sheep and goat meeting put on by Purina. So we all worked together and I bought a whole bunch of stuff. Here's what we've got. Pretty much it's worms, it's worm overload, which makes them anemic which makes them weak and then they just go downhill. And it takes a lot of time to rebuild when they're anemic. You can't just fix it by, here, let me give you a dose of this and all of a sudden your blood is strong again. Can't just do that, it takes a while. So we have something called red cell. This helps rebuild anemia. Um, every site I go to to look about worming goats or deworming goats talks about give red cell to help them recover. Now, there was one site that said, yeah, they've, they've tested it, and in studies, red cell didn't really help much, but they, it didn't hurt. Well, I'm gonna go with a nine out of 10 that said it did help, and I'm gonna give red cell every day. I'll look at, I've got everything written down, but we are gonna start giving red cell. Um, we're also gonna worm, they said, don't just worm with one dewormer, use two. So we've got two different dewormers we're gonna use together. And then we've got, this one's called Rooster Booster Sheep and Goat Liquid B12. So you wanna rebuild the red blood cells and then B12 is also a huge, um, a highly recommended uh, supplement. So I'm gonna get out my notes. Oh, one more thing, probios, probiotics, because her guts and her system, everything is just wiped out. She now has diarrhea. So we know she needs probiotics. So here's the probiotics and we got her some, a fresh bag of goat mineral, and we'll also give her dying, which is a high calorie supplement we give puppies that are struggling. So she's got a whole list, a whole, a whole, I don't know what you call it, but a ton of medicine, supplements, and dewormers, and we're gonna go hit it hard and do our very best to save her. So here's Marilla. Obviously she looks really, really bad. She's going downhill quick. So we're gonna to try to get all these things in her mouth. This one probably doesn't taste good. Get out of here. Her and hold her horn so I can get this in her mouth. You can get it up there. If we try to keep her mellow, yeah. this will be better. That's okay. Just keep her soft. Oh, you don't want to open your mouth. How are we gonna do this? Yeah, there we go. She should, she's enough. not very strong, so um, she can't push back too much yet. What do we do with the Yeah, we do that with the deers and it worked. I'm trying. <laughs> there she okay, is. got it. Drink it, drink it. Okay, that was warmer, so that was super important. Did she, she just spit that out? out? No. Did she? No, she uh, didn't. No, she didn't. Okay, good. Okay, here's another one that's a warmer. This is important. Okay, good job. Yeah, good I can girl. literally grip her hips. So I know. Feel good back girl. Good, good girl, girl honey. Yeah. Okay, Ren, let's do that again. Good girl. It'll make mm. you feel better. One more. Come on. Good girl. Got it. Swallow it. Good girl. Stop it. Go away, Diana. Good girl. Now the other ones taste better. Go. This one looks disgusting. Get out of here. Ew, what in the world? That is so This gross. one's called red cell. This is a mix. That's why it looks so disgusting. This pink one. <laughs> It's called Red Cell, and it looks, it smells good when you were doing it. This brown one is called, um, Oh, don't lick my Or no, this no. brown one is Red Cell. It stinks. It this one's called like Rooster Booster. Blood. Anyway, these are going to make her feel better. These are going to help her. I'm glad you're in the party. Go, you Diana. think you need some? Oh, no, she just keeps getting in the way. She's such a dork. She's, like, She's sitting waiting there. for it. Good girl. Good girl. I'm not pulling on her collar just so she doesn't. Good girl. Good job. You are such a dork. Look, she thinks if she sits, she can have some warmer. Sit. Did you want some warmer? Go 
good girl. Oh, she's, she's such so a good cute. girl. Did you need some rooster booster? She's like, you are such oh a dog. Oh my goodness. Look at the chickens. It's actually pretty cute. Diana, you're such a good girl. Diana, Diana. Oh, who's a good girl? Oh, she's so cute. 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 Oh, your scratch is better. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, go in there. Okay, last one. She just gets a tiny bit of this up to the first real quick. There we go. That's perfect. Eat it. Good job, baby. Good job. Okay. She's been double worms, two different variations. Now he's like, did that to my beat. She's got her red cell booster, her vitamin B12, probiotics. Now all we can do is pray that she gets better. So we'll repeat those in 12 hours and again in 10 days. And actually a lot of those, like Rooster Booster and Red Cell and Dine, the nutritional ones and the anemia support ones, those she'll be getting every day for a while. So, But she actually is in a lot better shape than a lot of the people that I've been talking to. A lot of theirs are on the ground, won't eat, won't move. So she definitely is interested in food and she's at least walking around and I don't know, she's alive. So hopefully we caught it in time. Hopefully these wormers will, will work since we doubled up. She'll do tricks, I bet. She'll try to jump on her. That's what she'll Don't do. jump on me. I can't get the oh, bag open. Here comes another. <laughs> I can't get the bag open. Okay. Ooh, these are better minerals than the other kind. Yay. Okay. Yes, Papa. Everyone wants some. You goofballs, you don't need goat minerals. Here you go. I don't want to waste them. These are special ones. They're a lot more potent than the ones we were using. That way, if she's only eating a little bit, we can make sure she gets what she needs. So I think part of the problem is this one. She's not letting her maybe eat enough Ren. Yeah. Oh yeah, Hetty always fights. So we might need to put Marilla in the garden or something. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, so we just made a quick decision. We realized since Hetty is obviously the dominant goat and might not even be letting Marilla eat as much as she should and she's weird. Anyway, we let we let uh, Marilla slip out. We didn't get it on film, but we <clears throat> we all worked together, got all everybody distracted. They got Marilla out. So she's free. She can free range. She can be off of this soil, which is probably good with worms. Um, and we don't think she'll be strong enough to jump on cars, which is the reason they don't always get out. <clears throat> so we can make sure she gets her own food, her own dosages, and keep a closer eye on her. See, this makes me happy. At least she's eating. She's free, she's off of the pasture soil. I'm hopeful. Hopefully we caught it in time. Good girl, Marilla. Good girl, Marilla. We wanna keep you around, get you better. Hey, something I forgot to mention up there, just in case you're wondering, we are going to worm um, and treat all the other goats. It's just that they weren't the emergency situation that Marilla was. That's why everything's about her right now. Um, and also, you're not supposed to worm unless they need to be wormed. So actually, I will check all of their eyelids. I did check Hetty's the other day and they looked pink. Um, so now that I've gotten more educated on worming and goats, um, we will check the baby's eyelids and I'll check Hetty's eyelids again. And if, if I'm in any any doubt at all that they need it, they will definitely all get wormed. So now we're prepared. We've got plenty of stuff for all of them. So Ren and I come out in the garage, going down to give Marilla her daily meds, and I almost stepped on something alive. Kind of freaked me out. Let me show you what it was. It kind of freaked me out. I almost thought it was like gonna be a mouse, but it's a cute little baby bunny, and they keep getting out of their cage. So cute, I love them. I don't know if you guys have filmed the baby bunnies yet, but how many do we have? 
I think three, maybe four. They're super cute, but this is a common occurrence. They keep escaping oh, onto the, the floor of the garage. And we're worried because Sace loves to come in this garage and that would be a bad ending for these bunnies. So we put them in one of the new cages. Oh, they're all gone. Uh-oh, that means three bunnies are loose in the garage. <laughs> Apparently that bunny can fit through these little slats, which is weird. Cause that bunny's little, but I didn't think he was that little. Well, I guess we gotta go. Dad said, I think they need to be in a box within the cage, but that thing doesn't count. It doesn't have a lid on it. Mm -hmm. So we will continue to hunt for bunnies. Okay, mom just told me that two baby bunnies got out of their cage again. So apparently they are too little. So they squeeze right out. See, they're completely gone. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be putting them right in here because they can't get out. <laughs> so now I just have to find them. Thought I heard one. Don't see any yet. Oh, I hear one. Bunny! Oh, there's one. Okay, we got number one. Only one. Hi, money. Okay, still gotta find the others. Hmm. Bunnies! I don't think there are any under there. So the pigs and the goats are now getting into the garden for like well, like the hundredth time now. Probably. So today so we got a few new fence posts and we're going to pound them in until I don't know how long it's going to last because this is the bad wire. So we'll hopefully it'll the last for a while. The cheap wire that breaks. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it'll last and until we can maybe get hog panels at some point. I don't know. But we're hoping, I'm actually not super sure how we're going to do this. Usually we really put the T-post in and we catch, it's, yeah, it's describe what we do, Nash, with your, you I can't while I'm filming. Take it, take it to where um, this piece will eventually hook on to one of these, and but push it can't it. be too hard or else the thing just snaps. True. It's so we might really want to, fragile. we might want to do our best to make that wire straight Yeah. and then start pounding and maybe, yeah. Yep. I guess we'll do something like that. A couple, put maybe two T posts two. for this Hopefully section. We'll know how to use more. So, for a long time, this was okay because the pigs could go under, and we didn't mind because they would just go in the garden, eat whatever they wanted to in the garden, and they also have the shelters in the garden that Nash built for them, which we thought that'd be perfect for if and when yeah. they have piglets. So we just kind of let that go, and it was a great system. Then, I think because they kept pushing out and the opening got bigger and bigger, the goats started pushing under. And then at that point, the goats can escape the garden much easier than the pigs can. So we don't want that. So this kind of had to end this little system. Um, so we'll just have to completely block off the garden, put everybody back in the pasture when we want them in there. And then if and when the pigs have babies, then we'll put them in here intentionally. So here we go. We're going to move the camera far away because you don't want to hear this loud pounding.
There's Ann, enjoying a little snack in the garden. They are kind of picky. There's a lot of stuff in here they won't touch. But at least she's enjoying this. Is that tasty, Ann? Yeah, it's fine. Hmm? Munching away. Huh. It's interesting, where we took out all the blackberries, all this stuff came up. Look at all this. Crazy. And I don't remember the name, but I know the berries, I think, are poisonous to animals. But they don't touch them. The goats don't touch them. The pigs don't touch them. They must know. Thankfully, she's got some other weeds. So, back to the fence. Nash and I completed it. We put in two T-posts. For now, it should work. We reinforced with some rocks, but the pigs are so strong, they can just push these rocks away. Um, but the bottom of this wire is now really tight. Hopefully they won't make their way through. We bent it down behind that tree. And of course, we'll put them all in the pasture tonight. That'll be the test tomorrow morning. I didn't say anything. She didn't say anything. I didn't either. Okay, you're on. <laughs> Go ahead and say it. What? Thanks for tuning in. No, that's Thanks for tuning saying. in. It's been a really good week. Uh, well, actually, it hasn't been a good week. We have a, well, not the only animal thing is the goat, Marilla. Or is it Marilla or Hetty? Marilla, I think. Is not doing very well. Um, she looks pretty rough. Apparently, there's a lot of this going around in the goats in this area. It's some kind of a, a worm problem, I guess. So, big bummer. Um, I don't. Yeah, I don't, doesn't look, I don't think she's, well, who knows? She might make it. She doesn't seem like she's going to make it to me, but we'll see. <laughs> Lori would be super sad, so. How are you doing? Why don't you give them the update on, on little Briar here? Uh, it's just kind of been just the same. They haven't really found anything out yet. They did like a big test on, I think mo last Monday, like an upper GI series, but it all came back normal. So they're doing a, a head CT scan today up in Springfield. And then we'll see if it has anything for sinuses, but we don't know yet. Nothing really new. Except she hurts all the time, which is sad to me. So I don't like it. You pray for her. Please keep praying for her. That's a huge deal. Um, yeah. Everybody else is, you know, summer's crawling by. Got, you know, lots of animals and lots of work to do. So it's all good. Um, do you have a joke? Yep. Yeah, I know you love the jokes. So this guy goes to the doctor and he's like, the doctor's like, well, what's wrong? He's like, well, I don't know. i just been feeling like a goat. And he's like, how long has that been going on? He's like, since I was a kid. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> That's that really It is good. not that funny. No, it's pretty funny. It's a good <laughs> no. joke. I'm thankful the Briar's here, and I'm thankful for her goat joke. Wow. It's the greatest of all time. So. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great week. <laughs>